This is ABC 7 News at 5. Well, take a look at this. You see a fire coming from brakes on a metro train in DuPont Circle. Twitter user Michael Cowden shared this video with us just before firefighters were called to the reports of smoke in a tunnel. Metro says the train experienced brake problems starting at the Cleveland Park Metro Station. It was taken out of service there at DuPont. Firefighters were called to both stations as a precaution and no one was hurt. But of course, that scene is a reminder of last month when one woman died, 80 others were hurt when smoke filled that yellow line train. That's right, and now ABC7 has learned that less than half of D.C.'s firefighters have specialized training for just such an emergency. New at 5, Mike Kameen joins us live from L'Enfant Plaza. So, Mike, the new interim chief is vowing to fix this. Did he say why it wasn't a priority before? He couldn't say so today, Allison and Leon. And while he didn't explicitly say it, many are blaming the previous fire chief, Kenneth Ellerby. Last year, out of 1,700 D.C. firefighters, only 100 got this specialized training that puts them in a mock metro rail tunnel. Now, compare that to more than 700 from Fairfax County, more than 400 from Montgomery County. Now the Bowser administration is promising changes. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser celebrated the graduation of nine paramedics turned firefighters who just completed a 16-week training course. But district leaders this week were baffled when union officials revealed sparse D.C. fire training for disasters on Metro, like last month's Yellow Line incident. And I don't think anybody expected that uh, only 100 of our firefighters were trained in one year, and we will step that up. Not only that, but interim fire chief Eugene Jones says before, the department did not even have a record of who attended that training. Only Metro did. But now, he says the department is keeping track, with between 8 and 15 firefighters rotating through the training daily. Every firefighter will go through this. I mean, some have already gone through it, and uh, but they're going to go back through it, and it's going to be consistent. Program. We have to step our efforts up on training. I believe that we should have our own metro cars here at this training academy, this facility you're here today. Also this week, the union told D.C. council members that spotty radio communication has been a problem for years, and not just in metro tunnels. When your cell phone actually works in those locations, why can't your radios work in that location? So it sounds like we have to upgrade the equipment and get into the modern era. Today, the chief acknowledged department policy instructs firefighters to use their cell phones if necessary. They use whatever method that they have to to get the job done. Jones says that policy details nine ways to communicate underground. Besides radios and cell phones, firefighters are instructed to send runners, to use blue light stations or kiosk phones to underground. Still, the mayor has uh, ordered weekly testing of radio communications on D.C.'s metro stations, and she says her administration is evaluating D.C.'s radio system for possible changes. Reporting live in southwest Washington, Mike Kinnean, ABC 7 News.